scared at all. I'm here for you. I'll take whatever comes your way, okay? So don't worry, don't worry. Is there rain too? And governments. Anyway. Are you guys ready for Bonan? Oh no, you are not. Are you ready for me? <laughs> yes, I'm the one who keeps entertaining you. The Poshal to say I'm Dr. Franklin of the Good Skin Foundation. All right. Thank you all so much for the campaign for me to get some time. while they get the microphone to you. All right, there's a lady in the, what? Burgundy tavern, okay, let's hear it. Matched. Really, it's been really, really wonderful. I'm like, this place is really nice. Why have I never been here? You know, I should come here more often. Really, really, you have such a wonderful country with wonderful people, so please give yourselves a round of applause. And for those that, that I didn't see yesterday, happy Independence Day. Yeah, I hope your Independence Day was lovely. But for those who do not know me, my name is Bonang Mateba. I was, um, I'm a very proud South African woman, born and bred in a very small town called Mafiteng in the Northwest Province. I was born on a very cold Thursday night in a small city called Mafiteng. And uh, I am very proudly 36 years of age. Yeah, darling, I'm Cancerian, <laughs> born on June 25th, and by profession, I'm a OAP, so that's what we call on-air personalities, as radio and TV personalities. What you forgot to say is that I'm, I'm the most awarded OAP on the African continent. Exactly, exactly. You know, um, has been said spans over two decades. I started my career as a TV personality and TV host at the age of 16. I hosted a couple of shows on SABC, which is the South African Broadcasting Corporation, on numerous channels on SABC, starting at the age of 16. But my big break came when I turned 19. I hosted a music show on the biggest TV channel in South Africa. It's called Live. It was a live broadcast every single Friday. And what, it's what I call a VJ, a, a video, video jockey. They don't have them anymore. But that's where my, my career started. At the age of 19, I have collaborated with many brands, the likes of Ciroc, Cavassier, Legit, L'Oreal. The list goes on and on and on. And for the first six, thank you very much. For the first six, seven, eight years of my life, I was collaborating and, uh, you know, I was a brand ambassador for numerous brands. My biggest moment came in 2013 when I was named the first uh, face of Revlon outside of the United States of America. So I'm very, very proud of that. And since then, I've just moved from one project to the next. Fast forward to, let's say 2018, I launched the House of B&G, which is a luxury beverage company back in South Africa. And we currently make South Africa's favorite sparkling wine. And we have, thank you, we have dreams and aspirations of bringing it here in Ghana, you know, for the people who have tasted, you know, hopefully you're a big fan of it. If not, it will be here very soon. It is available in all static countries, Swaziland, Lesotho, Zambia, Zimbabwe. So with that said, you know, all my work with branding and everything that I've learned has really helped me become a formidable, I'd like to say, businesswoman. But I think today um, I'm here to answer your questions, to inspire you, and to just share a little bit of my knowledge, 
how I became who I am, and uh, what it means to be a young African woman in 2024. I think the theme that runs throughout today, and the theme that you're going to hear throughout today, is how you know women are definitely at the forefront of many, many things, and sometimes the choices that we make are have a huge domino impact, not only on us, but on so many people around us. That's why when you are a woman, your decisions and your choices are sometimes a little bit more difficult to make. That's why I'm very, very grateful to uh, be here today and to partake in productions and events like this where we're able to share um, all our knowledge and the things that we know and the things that we've learned. So, Nana, once again, thank you very, very much for having me here. Um, I, I, like I said, I do have questions and would like to take more questions because how I approach speaking engagement is that when somebody asks you a question, it obviously comes from their experience, right? And I'm certain that all of you are here today to get some answers. And I'd like to sort of concentrate on that. So if you are going to ask me a question today, it really needs to be, I would hope, quite specific to any situation that you are in right now. Is that okay? All right. Let's go back, let's go back here. Thank you. 